All right, welcome to another esoteric Fallout 76 camp build video. My last video, I did the top five ruined houses in the Appalachia wasteland, and I promised I would do builds at each of them just to see if they're really possible. So this was the one I listed as the top one, mostly because not about the house so much, but actually just the grounds and all the other things that were available here. But it turns out you can actually do kind of a cool build in the house itself. Now, the house is crooked. It's like sliding down the mountain. So it's going to present some challenges. But as I started playing around in here, I started realizing it was a fool's errand to, to try to make it look realistic. So everything that you place, just about everything you place, goes, uh, you know, what would be level. And... That's not gonna work on a surface that's not level. So what I decided to do instead was to make it look as though the furniture and any other items I placed in here was, you know, kind of falling and crumbling over just like it would, uh, you know, if the house was doing the same. So I'm not gonna show you how I placed this huge fireplace and that rocking chair. I left a couple things in here just for the hell of it, the, the uh, candles and the Easter egg. But that, that um, big old chimney there was hard to get in, and so I didn't want to film that. So just uh, if you want to do that there, you're going to have to struggle a little bit. I did use a, uh, what is it, a mat, a little, like, doormat for that. So against this back wall, and actually you can place something pretty normally. It kind of looks like it goes there. It doesn't look like it's slanted at all, and you can see there's not much of a way of a gap there. So that was kind of nice, but for most of the other things in the room, I wanted to create the illusion that everything has slid down as the house has slid down. So you'll see that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take advantage of that hole in the floor, which I'm going to create as the kitchen. For some reason, I don't know if it's my graphics card or what, but you see the texture and the colors that are on that wall. They kind of bleed into some of the objects, and sometimes it looks a little bit cool, actually. You'll see in one of the couches, or maybe both the couches, that uh, it actually looks like it's distressed and dirty and, and everything else. So here I'm just showing like the fact that this thing is level, but it doesn't look level, right? So how do you get it to look like it really belongs there? So here's an, one of the examples I did. Imagine that it's kind of been thrust up against this little uh, sideboard here, and there you go. So that was the idea. How do I create something that looks like it's just realistically existing in this world, even as the house is getting all messed up and falling down? So what do I do next? These chairs here, just kind of stack these chairs. It's funny, by the way, you can actually sit on both of these chairs <laughs> once you place them in. So you can, you can merge yourself into the chairs, which is kind of fun. The existing objects in this house were, were cool to work with, like this dresser here. And there's the existing bed, there's a, there's a crib. So working around those was fun and it just added to the immersion of this build as you'll see. Hopefully I accomplished something decent with this. And this little nightstand here, same kind of thing. I wanted to put it in this general area and make it look like it was kind of sliding down. So I gotta try to get it just right so it still looks like it's on the floor but also partly on the bed. I also wanted to have the bed to be functional. There's no mattress on the bed, so I was able to place one of these mattresses here, and it is a functional bed. It was a little bit tricky to just kind of get it right, so it didn't look like it was sticking up too much. So you'll see, I'm gonna kind of work with it a little bit. Slide it over. It's not too bad. I mean, if you look at it closely, you're gonna see it's kind of up on one side, but as you'll see, it's it'll still be a functional bed, which is what I wanted to do. This little magazine rack here I just put in because I wanted to kind of hide this seam where the <laughs> where the chimney and the wall don't really go super well. So it's just kind of like there, there to, to distract a little bit from some of the uh, imperfections of this kind of a build. And what else we got in here? Oh, the dresser here. So this dresser decided to kind of put it on the bed a little bit. And I had to do it, I had to experiment a little bit in ways that would still be able to use the bed. So I came up with, the, as long as it's kind of on this end, like the foot end of the bed, it seems to work all right. So I'll show you later on that you can still utilize that bed if you want to. Now here, this little couch, this was where I actually got the fir first got the idea for this whole thing. Because it just merged really well or meshed really well with this chimney. Just the height of it and the height of the slant 
really worked nicely. So that was kind of how I decided, let me just do this for the entire the entire camp build. Just getting it away from, so it's not actually like glitching into the brick at all. So there you go. And you see how the texture kind of comes through from the floor onto the, um, uh, onto the couch itself. It's a nice little bonus that I wasn't expecting. Here I tried to be lazy and uh, <laughs> take that whole piece out after I'd built it the first time before recording this, but I couldn't get it to place down where it used to be. So unfortunately I have to do it piece by piece, but that's not a big problem at all. But I figured this little, this little uh, indentation in the floor actually works pretty well to simulate as if this part of the kitchen just kind of sank into the, uh, into the ground a little bit. So you'll see I'll have to take this whole thing out and take all the pieces off and do them one at a time. Got two chairs. This is my little uh, way to fake a sink since I still don't have a sink. I complain about it every video. I'm sorry about that. I will probably should just shut up about that. Take the stove off of there. And the stove is also functional too, by the way, even though it's going to be kind of sunken into the, into the floor a little bit. I feel like the first time I did this, it was a little bit better, a little bit more like underneath, but I don't know. It's pretty close. You're going to see it's, it's going to stick up a little bit on this end. So I just tried to minimize that as much as possible so it didn't look like it was this rigid floorboard essentially <laughs> sticking out, but you can only get it so far. I tried it both both directions. Sim sim similar results. That's okay. I mean, given what I was working with here, I expected to not be able to do anything remotely close to this in terms of a, a, a camp build. So I'm pretty happy with the, way, with the way it came out. So if one little rug is sticking up a little bit more, that's okay. So I did want to have a stove in here. The one thing I wasn't able to get in here, which I don't know, my, if I really wanted to, I could try to put a bathroom in here. <laughs> it seems like every house should have a bathroom, but maybe this is, uh, I'll put an outhouse at this camp build or something. But just kind of bringing these two together, these always pair nicely in terms of like a like a counter. And again, this is my fake sink just by merging uh, one of those pots, empty pots, into this cabinet, and you know gives you the the essence of a sink, even though it's not really a sink. And then here it's just a matter of placing the small table and these two chairs, kind of haphazardly too. It wasn't about like trying to arrange them in a way that made too much sense. It was just again this house is is failing, is falling apart, is 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 in ruins, so none of this stuff is going to be particularly neat and tidy. Just wanted to kind of get them onto this rug so that they were all, uh, you know, kind of in the same room, quote unquote. And they were also kind of at the same angle. The chairs are, they sometimes look like they're going to merge through, it, but they always seem to pop up back onto, onto the rug, so it's not a big deal. So, got a second chair in there. I managed to get that rocking chair. If you saw it earlier in the in the video, there's a rocking chair behind that that dresser, and uh, the dresser disappeared randomly. I've had this happen in other camps too, where <laughs> other items that are there kind of disappear, and they actually allow you to build things behind them. But then when it came back, I was worried that it would be gone. You could see it there, kind of in. The, uh, I'm moving around too fast. Anyway, it's over there by the fireplace. You'll see it earlier in the video if you care to go back and look at it. So this is the walkthrough of what I came up with little kitchen area that's sunken in because the floor has broken. We've got our kind of living area with an existing dresser and a couch that looks really awesome because that texture came through. And over here, same thing. It's some of that, just that color and texture that looks like it's really been through hell and back. So just to demonstrate that the bed does work, there's my my bearded character here having a little snooze. Don't get to watch yourself sleeping, I guess, but that's okay. And what I'll do is I'll segue into showing you what I did with the rest of the property, which was the part I was really interested in the most when I when I profiled this uh, property the first time around as a camp location. Uh, that actually had a few interesting problems to it, but we'll talk about that when we get there. I will switch over in a couple minutes. All right, so this lovely barn area here seemed like it was going to be a nice wide open canvas for creating a workshop or something. It turns out there was a few hiccups along the way, but I think I kind of managed them all right. 
This is not the, uh, I would say this is the most uh, clever part of the build. I set, certainly the inside of the house was much more interesting. Uh, there's some cool stuff that actually is already existing here in this barn. That's desk on the right and the safe are both here. The barrels, the boxes, and some of these baskets are all here. So that's kind of cool. I had to put down a floor piece here for some reason. Th this this um, weapons workbench would not sit for me for whatever reason. Maybe it's because of what was next to it. I don't know. But I just did a junk wall behind this doorway. I, I really wanted to put a door in that doorway, but I just could not get it to quite work. It was very, very close. Um, but, oh well, maybe a, a more experienced builder could uh, make it happen. Here's my merged uh, stove with the fire inside it, which I like to bring into a lot of my builds. Got yourself the old timey looking chemistry station. And there's a table that already exists here and this toolbox that already exists. And as I said, this little armor workbench is already here too. So that saves you a little bit of uh, your, your camp budget. And I put down this Tinker's workbench. Now just having a little fun with the build here. I built a kind of a bandstand, just put a bunch of instruments on there. And it's fun. I also started experimenting with the flamethrower trap, which, as many people on YouTube say, is the builder's best friend. What I'm interested in is seeing how to use it for these kinds of more immersive-looking ruin, you know, wrecked houses sort of builds. So here I'm just kind of experimenting with that a little bit. From the outside, it looks pretty good. I probably should uh, put the wallpaper on the inside. Now, this, is, this has been a functioning camp, so I did some of the usual things I would normally do. Water purifiers, some generators. This picnic table actually just seemed like it really belonged there. So this is something I, I built in, but it really looks like it's it was there when I got here. And this little wrecked barn area, I just used another um, another generator with a pressure plate for doing merges. But uh, all in all, this wrecked house ended up coming up pretty good. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult. And it was challenging <laughs> to build in here. But embracing the uh, crookedness of the house really came out nice. So thanks for watching.